So today's video looks at three positions on three of the new slash revamp maps that will win you the game in various different classes. Obviously we will talk about the key positions on the map and we're going to go through some gameplay of these positions in action and what you can do with them. Of course, uh, some of the games are slightly different and when you come into certain games you'll have certain matchups that you want to be able to look at the team list, decide what you're going to do, are there going to be a lot of TDs, so is your position going to become less effective, are there lots of artillery, is your position going to be more effective or less effective so you have to think about these things in game obviously these positions are kind of ones that will allow you to get more damage and assistance bearing in mind like the kind of game and what how the game is actually going of course there is no one position on world of tanks that will allow you to do superbly like you can't just go into one position with one tank or every single tank in the game and suddenly you become a 70% a win rate player you know it's never gonna happen like that there is never like that situation within the game there are positions that are more advantageous that you may be able to increase your win rate from say 48% to maybe 52% if you use the positions uh, within each of the different maps um, for your tank doesn't mean that you know you're gonna have uh, this massive jump in win rate and so you can't just get better in one kind of way but this video is focused on the kind of positions that will allow you uh, the best opportunity to have better games and just perform better within the game now you see that I was just in that position there you see where the bushes and everything were you can use that position fantastically to be able to get hold down uh, if you're in tanks like the super conqueror obviously I'm in an object 268 version 5 it's not particularly very good uh, getting a hold down its turret is absolute paper but that position offers a lot of protection if you go into that little groove that was previously um, shown that allows you to get hold down and anyone that crests this ridge that I'm coming up to now to crest will basically on the opposite team will basically be able to get taken out whenever they play uh, kind of aggressively or if they push and often you'll find that heavy tanks will move down the B2 and B3 area if they win that kind of area that means that you can get shots into them and it kind of nullifies them advancing down that flank so it's the left of where I am right now on the map so it's left of this hill if they win that kind of flank and they try and flank your teammates that are in this kind of area that I am at from the left hand side it basically helps with that and so it's not very easy for them to do that now a bit of a weird game in terms of um, the layout of this one their whole team have gone the southern side the whole team have pretty much gone the southern side which is very very weird it's not a traditional game I'd say you know I don't know I, I feel like uh, this game could have been played better by me and my teammates of course uh, I think I played a solid round um, and I took some advantageous spots I got a little bit unlucky I made some bad decisions but overall you know we had a decent game now what am I doing well I am trying to get shots onto all of the people trying to advance up this like uh, the northern side of the map up the hill where to where we are the type 5 the Yeager the LT432 um, using this hill area is one of the most prominent areas on the map that you need to kind of use and I feel like it doesn't get enough recognition uh, you see a lot of tanks actually with gun depression going up the southern side of the map up to K0 that is an absolute waste of a tank with gun depression you don't want to be doing that I mean yes it can be effective too but for the most part if you have good turret armor you've got good gun depression this spot is crucial you can get shots onto the enemy heavies that tend to come this way very very strange game this isn't a, a great example of, of team deployment on this game and I guess that's because there's a lot of new players that have no idea where they should be going um, and hence why we're having games that last about two minutes or three minutes before the game is pretty much won and then you've got the minute or two where you just scoop up the last bit of damage on the enemy team this one you know if you take control of this spot it's super super useful you can attack all of the heavies if you're a fast tank at the beginning of the game like a light tank you can get up to this spot 
you can then basically spot all of the opponents that are going to be crossing up into this area for the slow lumbering type fives you know all of the slow boys that are deciding that they're going to advance up to the hill as with most games they do uh, you can basically spot them for artillery, you can then get assistance damage from the artillery hitting them and of course you can get shots on them yourself especially if you remain undetected. So this spot is really really crucial for you to be able to just have those games which are kind of perfect you know. I think with regards to World of Tanks it is primarily about positioning if you position yourself in a spot that just isn't quite right for your tank you're going to end up with a lot of problems uh, as you go throughout the game you know if i'd rushed in over to the left hand side i'm in a terrible spot the Jaeger is then going to basically pin me down i'm not going to be able to move um yeah you need to make sure that you have this kind of opportunity to be able to pull back from opponents that you're going to be engaging into and also, uh, this spot provides that very, very easily. I mean, we have two other spots that we'll be showing you within um, two other gameplays on the other two new maps, which are El Alamein and also um, Overlord as well. They're not necessarily like some of the spots that you have to go into, but they do provide an option for you within your game. And it's obviously choosing the best option um, available to you Obviously some places on maps I see people going are just not an option whatsoever and so you know providing you with good options for these new maps that I find a lot of people just aren't playing well enough because there's been so many games on these brand new maps El Alamein etc etc that people have just YOLO'd in the game lasts two minutes literally two minutes as well um, yeah you just trying to improve the knowledge of players with these guides and, and showing you what sort of positions you want to be going into. Now, as far as this game goes, we'll get into the actual game commentary. I need to get rid of this 268 version 5, but of course I have absolutely no gun depression. We try and shoot him, but unfortunately we don't get the hit on him, and so he's left alive. Game's looking pretty dire. Of course, we didn't protect both flanks. The enemy team were allowed to push down the K0 line into our base and then from that position it becomes stronger. The enemy team can actually defend from that sort of position using the hill area G3 and G1. Just basically um, makes their position a lot lot stronger in almost every single way. And so what what you'll find is is making sure that you know you realize the situation moving from that one spot so the spot that i was just at if i was a, thought about it at the time thought about moving i would have actually gone back to protect the base at f3 and then got some shots early on enough so that we wouldn't have just been ambushed by the yeguru and the uh, 268 version 5 and then hopefully we would have had a better game now that didn't happen and of course it looks like a very likely result that we will be ending the game very very soon now don't know how that shot hit but okay wargaming um anyway this game pretty much wraps up now i'm gonna try and defend a one versus six but yeah let's just say it doesn't go too well now I think if we skip ahead, we will skip ahead to the post-battle results. Of course, we picked up 4,705 damage, 450 assistance, and we will move into the next gameplay where we're going to show off some more spots that you can actually use. Um, this new this new map, Overlord, of course, starting right now, is basically a map that is actually quite good if you know the spots on it. I find if you don't know where you are actually should be going in the various different tank classes, you'll find yourself caught out in the open, you'll get pummeled by artillery when they are on this map. Luckily this game doesn't have artillery, so it's kind of a benefit. But if you make sure you put yourself in the right position, like any game, you're going to have a better one. And so what we're going to do now, one key position of the map to take early on in the game and it's one that you need to get into as quickly as possible because if you don't get there fast enough you're going to get hit on the way up to this spot and it's not 
necessarily a spot that is super broken or super overpowered but what it does do is offer your team support it also means that the enemy cannot advance so being a preventative defensive position is something i think a lot of people kind of forget although you may not be able to use the position to get tons and tons of damage and rack up loads of damage without getting hit at all it provides a very very good defensive position and it is right here so what you need to do is get up against this rock right in, right in front of me if you can manage to do that what you can do is you have a little bit of artillery protection of course you'll get things like the holland hund how i just don't know how i missed that one uh, but okay um and what you can do is just put pressure on all of the people that decide to rush the bolt of course you get protection from in front of you because you've got this massive rock i'm being an, a complete bot in this game apparently we uh we missed the rheinmetall panzer wagon there and um yeah You've, you can see what i mean like if people push into the bowl if we got a little bit lucky with our shots we would have been able to pick up quite a bit of damage there you know almost three shots within this kind of position right here it's a key spot if you're in a tank with gun depression obviously it's kind of hard to showcase when i'm in a tank with pretty much no gun depression being the object 268 version 5 which a video should be coming out fairly soon with a decent gameplay but yeah i think making sure that you guys know some spots to go in the early game at least some because i can't do a map view or like overview or, or guide completely because it's super hard to to kind of give you all of the options you could ever do within one game but giving you some really really great early game spots is, is obviously beneficial for you guys as to playing these new maps especially if you've never played them before or if you just want a refresher to be honest with you and um, if you've never actually used them let me know obviously they are my own personal preferable kind of spots to go into so um, yeah they, they might not necessarily fit everyone's playstyle and everyone's playstyle differs quite quite significantly but they are spots that will enable you to get damage and I can say they are definitely not spots that are awful just make sure that you are situational you don't just go in them every single game um, although they wouldn't be bad to go in every single game just make sure that you aren't going down one flank on your own because obviously that doesn't work very well what you can see here though is my, my thing like about, about the games just lasting absolutely no time whatsoever of course we picked up barely any damage um, I mean I'm not particularly trying that hard, you know, auto aiming on the move, of course, um, kind of struggling with with a bit of lag to be honest at the moment, um, with the internet connection, it's just been awful, um, just lagging all over the place, it, I've been, I tried to make a super chaffy review, it was just impossible, uh, coming up against tier 8s and I'm literally lagging my, uh, my boobies off, yeah, it was just absolutely awful. Um, to, to try and actually play in lag, hence why I'm playing a high alpha TD, you know, <laughs> they don't take much, uh, much, uh, well you don't have to shoot all of the time, so yeah, what you see is the enemy team made an awful mistake on Westfield, uh, or what am I on about, um, Overlord, they've gone on to the beach, the beach is one of the areas that you probably want to avoid if you are a player on this game, it just doesn't really um, support very much, um, yeah, not really a position you want to be forcing or, or at least pushing too hard you can go there but don't push around um, unless it's uh, vital or, or crucial for you to actually win now unfortunately we bounce off the E100 but yeah that's a game over 3000 damage pretty mediocre game in the object 268 version 5 considering that's like what four shots pretty awful um, but yeah I think it kind of showcased it unfortunately the enemy team like just I don't know what happened, but the game lasted, what, like four minutes or something? Um, four minutes 33, That's there you go. These games are just getting shorter and shorter on World of Tanks console. And, um, yeah, I guess this guide is, is just trying to, to help you um, avoid that kind of thing happening. And so our third and final spot in World of Tanks console in terms of some fantastic positions to take your tank into is on El Alamein, the third map of these new re revamped maps. We haven't got every single one today unfortunately because I just didn't get, um, oh, what's it called, the Ghost Town. I didn't actually manage to uh, to get very many Ghost Town games and certainly not ones that I'd want to put on 
YouTube because it was just so laggy. I was playing in the Super Chaffy. I think that's about the only um, games I've actually got. Uh, this one was when the internet connection kind of got a little bit better for the period of like maybe 45 minutes or something. So it's kind of luckier that I got a couple of rotations that are good. And of course, I'm going away on a holiday fairly soon. Now, first position you will see me taking is that position right there. Really, really good position to take on El Alamein. Uh, you can basically put, get any shots and anyone that's super aggressive at the beginning on that ridge line that I'm moving up to now. Now if that happens, really really great for you at least as a player because you can get a shot onto them very very easily. They're not going to be able to shoot you or at least unless they auto aim you and get super lucky. But you know, that is World of Tanks console at least uh, with the accuracy. World of auto aims I should say. Anyway, this is a superb position if the game works out like this. If the majority of the team or the enemy team pushes up onto the the area of the town instead of coming this way round on encounter battle this is an absolutely amazing position to get yourself into at the beginning of the game it's so defensible you'll see the M60 has realized he's made an utter mistake coming out we put one into him and of course we set him on fire because Aaron Jesus is uh, praising us today and uh, he's moved into that spot so that is basically the end of him we can absolutely counter the M60 there's very little things we can get hit hit by of course if the enemy team push super aggressively to the cap they can push some shots onto us but that very very rarely happens and so we can use this very very confidently to be able to put shots into anyone that presses aggressively unfortunately we don't actually manage to get any damage on the t100lt because why not it's absolutely uh perfectly fine having a tank with uh, tons of, uh, of tracks that cover the entire side and when you shoot it it basically does nothing because it's so small but moving away from that what we're trying to do well I was trying to get up there I didn't realize you can't actually get up there in a tank like the 268 version 5 but of course um, being an absolute cretin I'm deciding to try and do it again and use the physics mechanics to kind of wiggle my way up there but unfortunately I'm gonna have to take move away with my tail in between my legs um, around the side and, and take the L on the amount of time I've just wasted within this game. Of course, moving away from that position, you know, it's not particularly the best game. Picked up 1500 damage. Yeah, pretty terrible, to be honest, within the first couple of minutes. But it kind of shows you if the enemy team did go that way, which they do do, it can be really, really defensible. And of course, it works on both standard and encounter battles but you have to be super kind of careful on standard battles because if you try and be super aggressive to get up into that spot you have to be in a fast tank otherwise it just does not work if you're playing on the standard battle make sure you think about that this is encounter and hence why I could push up that early on into that position but it is a position that you can use in standard battle if you wait a little bit and your team starts to win that kind of flank and you're able to get into that position you can pretty much win that flank from it it is that good uh, in the game if you manage to get up there without taking any shots there you go the win is yours um, T92 loving that absolutely killing that thing for full health we absolutely love that fantastic taking out the artillery um, yeah, been one shot a few times in the last couple of uh, <laughs> last couple of games by artillery in the 268 version 5. So thumbs up from me. We love taking out artillery. Of course, another position on El Alamein. When you're winning that flank, if you can get into this position, you can get a lot of shots onto the enemy team. Of course, I'm kind of sat out in the open, but you can use it further back on the ridge line that can basically offer the same sort of. Uh, support I was just getting there so I could move forward then after I got the hit on the Conqueror. Unfortunately the game we don't manage to pick up any more damage within this one but you know it's a showcase shows you a couple of uh, positions that you can use within World of Tanks console to have those better games and I hope that it kind of actually came across quite well. I've not really done any of these before uh, so I guess just trying to show you some positions that I'd use personally, give my opinions on them and actually analyse them to show you why I would go into the positions and when um, might be useful for some of you guys and hopefully that's the case. I think that is the rest 
of this video I think um, I want to say a massive thank you to all of the channel members that have um, gone that extra mile supported me even further of course other than viewing my content which I greatly appreciate as well but yeah thank you very much to all of the channel members and of course thank you for watching the video and I hope you did enjoy if you did remember you can check out some of the other console guides and gameplay that I've done on the channel there's loads of them uh, I'll link a playlist on screen right now and also at the end of the video you'll be able to uh, just click on it it should be on screen right now as well so other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video goodbye